Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles and welcome to another exporting results struggle. Today I'm going to talk about how to make this really nice looking balance test table. And a balance test table is going to be really useful anytime you're doing some sort of treatment and control situation or comparison. And so you want a table to show that your treatment and your control group are comparable at least on observables. So that's what we're going to do, and this is a really nifty table, and let's start talking about how to make it in Stata. So once again, the code for this is in the video description below, but we're just going to start out by reading in our auto data and making sure we're all clear in terms of not having any lingering estimations from previous do files, and that's what that sto clear command does in line 4. Now I'm going to do some t-test. Now when you're regularly doing a t-test in Stata, you can only do one variable at a time. But someone who created this S post had a really brilliant idea that you could be able to do multiple tests at the same time. So these are all the variables I want to compare between the treatment and the control group. And in this video, the treatment and the control group are going to be foreign versus domestic. So let's go ahead and run this command here. And you can see that we're doing the t-test for all four of these variables simultaneously. We're not doing any sort of joint t-test. These are each individual t-tests, but we're just doing them all together so we can put them all in one table, which is really nice. Now we have everything that we need to go ahead and make this table. So we're gonna turn to our lovely little stab command, once again, using that trick to make it such that Stata doesn't see a new command on each new line. It's gonna wait for the semicolon before it thinks we're done writing this command. Now what we're gonna do, a couple options that you need to keep in mind MU1 is the first group, MU2 is the second group. This B is going to be the difference. This is the standard error, which I'm going to put in parentheses. You don't have to put this in parentheses. I just do because I'm used to seeing standard errors in parentheses, and that's just going to help me keep that in mind. And then the observation count, once again, is just the observation count. One option that's a little different is this star command. Now, I left these stars as their default, so I don't technically need this command in here. I just wanted to use it to highlight the fact that maybe if you want to do like four stars, if it's 0 0.001, you could do that right here. Or you could define custom stars where you have no stars for 0.1 at the 10% level. Totally up to you if this is how you change that option. Notice that we're back to using column labels instead of equation labels. And I've just done it as domestic, foreign, and then their difference, and then the standard error and the number of observations. If you're not sure which is which, Notice that MU1 is going to be generally 0 and MU2 is going to be 1. If you're not sure, you could always do like a basic summary of price for foreign equal 1. And if it's 6072, you know that it's foreign. If it's 6384, you know that it's domestic. It's just a way to check to make sure you're labeling them correctly. And once I have that figured out, I'm just going to put a note that the difference is defined as domestic minus foreign, just so it's clear to the reader. You could have also done that right here and said this is domestic minus foreign, whatever you like best, just as long as somewhere in that table you talk about exactly what that difference is defined as. So I'll run. Once again, we'll click into this tech doc, and you can see we have this lovely document, this lovely tech file that's ready to go into Overleaf and make that balance test table. So hopefully this gives you a better idea of how to make a pretty balance test table directly from Stata into LaTeX. If this was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time for another case of Econ Struggles.